Which WrestleMania is the best WrestleMania ever? Let's figure this out together. What is up, WWE Universe? It is Brandon here, and if this is your first time visiting the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, as well as a bell notification to get all the updates on this channel. WrestleMania 33 is right around the corner, and with so many WrestleManias in the history books, choosing just one is the most painful decision ever. So to begin, we need to ask ourselves, what is it that truly makes a WrestleMania the best WrestleMania? WrestleMania ever. Is it just the wrestling? Or is it more than that? Is it the pyro? Is it the stage? Is it the location? What truly makes a WrestleMania out of its 33 year existence the best WrestleMania ever? And so I think we can all agree for the most part that it is all of these elements that make up the best WrestleMania ever. And just because older WrestleManias didn't have the grand spectacular sets and the pyro doesn't automatically disqualify them as being the best WrestleManias ever. So with 32 of these events to dig through, I narrowed it down to pretty much the Attitude Era till now. Now of course there were some iconic Wrestlemania moments and Wrestlemania's pre-Attitude Era. But in my opinion, they were just that. Great Wrestlemania moments. I did not feel as though the Wrestlemania's pre-Attitude Era were good when it came to simply the in-ring wrestling. The matches seemed just too slow and not well paced, which made some matches just dreadful to watch. And so the best WrestleMania ever goes to WrestleMania 19. Now before you lose your mind, just hear me out. WrestleMania 19 had all the elements that I described earlier to create the best WrestleMania ever. WrestleMania 19 took place on March 30th, 2003 at the Safeco Field in Seattle. Seattle, Washington, with a crowd of over 54,000 in attendance. This was also the first WrestleMania to be promoted as a cross-promotional brand event, as WWE implemented the brand split. And you had performances from high-profile names at the time, and not just B-list celebrities. I mean, there was Limp Biscuit and Ashanti. You're lucky if you get these type of superstars to attend WWE events now. And so let's get into the match card. The first match of the night saw Rey Mysterio versus Matt Hardy for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Then there was The Undertaker and Nathan Jones versus The Big Show and The A-Train. Then Victoria, Jazz, and Trish Stratus faced off in a triple threat match for the WWE Women's Championship. Next came another triple threat match for the WWE Tag Team Championships. Between the teams of Rhino and Chris Benoit versus Chavo and Eddie Guerrero versus Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas. The fifth match saw Chris Jericho versus Sean Michaels. Next, there was a fatal four-way pillow match, which was just pointless. And then the main events of the night. The first main event of the night saw Booker T versus Triple H for the World Heavyweight Championship. Then Hulk Hogan versus Vince McMahon in a street fight. After that came one of the best matches in WrestleMania history, featuring the legends of Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock. And finally, there was Brock Lesnar versus Kurt Angle for the WWE Championship. So with this stack card and so much great athleticism, this truly made it the best WrestleMania ever in terms of the in-ring wrestling. Then let's take a look at the set. The stage was awesome, and as the superstars made their way to the ring, the scenery made it feel so authentic and awesome, and not just animated. The pyro was incredible as well. Having the pyro soar above the crowd on that WrestleMania banner was just jaw dropping. And so with all of these elements combined, WrestleMania 19 has earned its place in my book as the best WrestleMania ever. Alright everyone, so that was this week's honorable mention. I just want to thank you for watching this video and I want to hear from you. And so my question to you is, which WrestleMania do you believe is the best WrestleMania ever? And as always, if you guys like this video, please consider sharing it, give it some likes, and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time on all things WWE.